Hey, this is Rippin, coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hensplit. Hello! Hi, everybody. Look at Josh Martin goofing around, stumbling on cords. The great Brian Redband, hey, everybody. Guys, what's up? Brian J. E. Bell drawing tonight's episode. You guys ready for a crazy night or what? You're at the number one live podcast in the world. We are streaming live right now in VR 360. So you're all part of the show tonight. Congratulations. Some people might be staring down these ladies' shirts right now. Uh, I'm pumped about tonight's show. Always exciting. A lot of great stuff happening uh, all over the place. We have the new Kill Tony shirt. That's for sale Shop at ShopSquad.tv. Yes, indeed. And I have the brand new, just released today, Tony Hinchcliffe Club shirt, the new THC shirt. You guys got to check that out. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, you'll see that on uh, social media, on my website, and things like that. Um, shut up, dude. You can't talk during this. Hey, other, Tony, I'll be in Edmonton this week also. Oh, I love that. You're the there uh, at the comic strip? Yeah, the comic strip. And, and then Minnesota next week. I was just yeah. in Minnesota. How was it? Uh, for those of you that are keeping up on everything, I this past week, uh, Jeremiah Watkins and I went out on our first leg of the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour. Wow. We got to do rock clubs and theaters around the country, and it's unbelievable. We had a blast in St. Louis, Madison, Detroit, and Minneapolis. And tomorrow, I fly to Nashville, uh, where Jeremiah is going to be doing his stand-up on the spot show here in L.A., so yeah, filling in I'm for Jeremiah that. in Nashville, Tennessee, a guy that, a former many-time guest on this show, Kill Tony, a guy named Ralphie May. How's that? <laughs> Hell yeah. You think Ralphie can fill Jeremiah's shoes? No. <laughs> Uh, Nashville, and then Huntsville, Louisville, Indianapolis, and then this Saturday, we're at the Cleveland House of Blues. Wow, picture that. A boy from Youngstown, Ohio, headlining a Saturday night at the House of Blues in Cleveland, where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is, with my pal Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> Columbia, Atlanta, Charlotte, <clears throat> Baltimore, New York City, Boston, San Francisco, Portland, and it all ends L.A. I do my long set here, September Fifth, and I have to announce right now that the Asbury Park, New Jersey, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania dates have been canceled. And this is a big announcement. In two weeks, there will be no Kill Tony here, ladies and gentlemen. It's true. In a shocking turn of events, oh. I found out <laughs> just a few days ago that I booked a, uh, a big, cool little role on a big, cool little TV show that I can't actually talk about right now. But awesome. I think you guys are going to be very excited when you see what happens with that, when I get to talk about it. But we're going to do a uh, secret show, a big Death Squad comedy show, the night of Kill Tony. So, so you'll get to see a lot of the people that you see on this show, yeah. people that you love, uh, do stand-up comedy that night here in the main room on a cool little Monday night to hold you over uh, while I'm in New York City taping a show for a, uh, a thing. Mm -hmm. You guys ready to start this fucking show or what? Ads are out of the way. You get it. I'm on the road. We're going to have some fun. Let's bring up tonight's guests. Every single week, we have two of the funniest comedians in the world on. You know these guys from being guests on this show numerous times. You, Doug loves movies. I'm dying up here. Workaholics. Getting Doug with high. Put your hands together for Doug Benson and Eric Griffin. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. There he is. There they are. Oh, so I got high instead of. Hello. I was gonna do Kill Tony, but then I got high. <laughs> well, <laughs> is this thing on? Right. High again. I was gonna criticize the comics, but then I got high. <laughs> <laughs> can we get, can we get eight more mic stands on the? Uh... Yeah, please. A couple uh, more cameras. Welcome to enough? mic stands. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the new Tony Hinchcliffe. Uh, so, welcome back. I love everything that uh, you guys are doing. Eric, I've uh, told you how big of a fan, and we've mentioned on this show numerous times, and we've had uh, pretty much the whole cast on this show, uh, that is uh, comedians of one of my favorites, Showtime's I'm Dying Up Here, which you are unbelievable on. I Tell mean, me more about the comedians. me. Stop you guys it. aren't watching it. You're stupid. It's goddamn no, history. It's true. You are unbelievable. No one believes what you're saying. No one <laughs> believes your emotions. 
No, it's really good. I Doug, like, I, I got like high. It. I got high with you earlier. I got you high with you we and uh, sent sent. Send dog. Send dog. Send dog Send from dog. Cypress Hill. Yeah. Yeah. I got Doug with high. Pretty sweet. On the Jash Network. I'm excited oh, about wow. tonight. Hey, you I guys... don't want to say tell the comedy store how to do this, but all <laughs> these people over here on the side should be sitting over there because they can't. We we see Doug, we know, we know. We okay. literally got into a, a right. vicious argument okay. with and management I, last I, week I'm about sad it. I brought it up. It's a whole it's thing. It's a good thing this is here, so I could just kill myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> just Harry Carey for saying that. <laughs> uh, but also just. <laughs> Just one more thing about the comedy store. Okay. Every person in neon on the walls never did fucking did stand-up comedy in their lives. That is true. It's all silent film stars. Okay, go ahead. You think we could lose the neons? Can we do that? Is that okay? Up to what, you, Danny. What you want? All of them? It's hard to I compete with the, the fat, neons? Uh, Laurel or Hardy. Which yeah, why not? Neons. You guys... Yeah! Nice. Feel that energy switch? Yeah, Ooh, I like it like this that. This is an easy crowd. Danny motherfucking Lucas. Make some noise. He's always up there above you. <laughs> fucking best sound guy at the store. He, he's like... seen, this is a guy that's seen all the greats that have come up here. Richard Pryor, Jim Carrey, David Letterman, Tony Hinchcliffe. Death all the man. greats. Danny's the fucking man. They're all written on the wall. Everyone signed their names outside. Sp and that's what makes you a comedian is you have the same signature as everyone else. Yes, and speaking of which, perfect segue, guess whose name went up today? One of the members of the band, the guy that I've been working with continuously. What? A huge favorite here on Kill Tony. And he's a part of the Kill Tony band. I'll bring them all out at the same time. Pat Reagan, Joel Jimenez, and with his name on the wall for the first time tonight, Jeremiah Watkins. Jeremiah. The Kill Tony band. Oh my god, I know who that is. Oh no. It's Feminist Stacy, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Feminist Stacy, welcome back to the show. Who are your friends? Um, that's Tracy, that's Lacey, and uh, this is my new boyfriend. I'm Hunter. I'm Stacy's dude. Wow. Whatever she says goes. Yeah, we know that. How'd you two meet? Um, well, it started off, uh, we were both blogging for the same news source. <laughs> MonsterEnergy.com. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Ooh. And uh, then I saw him in person at the Women's March, and I fell in love. <laughs> I love that, uh, I love that the uh, girl behind you is dressed like Jeremiah Watkins tonight. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what a spot-on impression. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Stacy actually made an appearance. I was surprised to see I was on an airplane with Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> this is true, by the way. I'm on an airplane in the middle of this first stretch, and uh, all of a sudden I turn around, and there she was <laughs> with that... With that haircut, it was Feminist Stacy in full character. Literally being way too loud on the plane. <laughs> Before it took off, by the way, to where I'm like, Stacy, stop. No one can silence a woman's voice. <laughs> It'll tell you what, she's not flying solo now. <laughs> Why are we even I'm here? Just, you gotta know. know. I know, that's what's beautiful about this show, is it's literally just home run derby. But you guys ready to get into it? There's more. The stage is set. Uh, the pieces are all in place. That microphone belongs to whoever gets pulled out of the bucket. Before the show, there's slips of paper out on the front patio, and a bunch of people sign up uh, their name. You get 60 seconds if you're picked. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Come on, that's so quiet. What was that? <laughs> Wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go. Good, good. So do your time. That's the whole point of it. You never know who's going to get pulled out of the bucket. Sometimes it's a fucking monster young comedian. Sometimes it's a completely insane person. There's one guy named Ichabod who got pulled out of the bucket uh, who actually ended up, his second appearance, he brought this bucket and we replaced the old bucket with this bucket. It's called Ichabod's Bucket of Destiny. You guys ready to start the fucking show? It's Kill Tony. Live. 360. VR. 
You guys ready for this or what? Make some fucking noise. Come on. This is the number one podcast. Number one live podcast in the world. Oh, is that what that is? Your first... Did you yeah. hear about Stacy's mom? Yeah, my glasses and VR. <laughs> She's got it going on. You watch your mouth, Doug Benson. <laughs> you ready? Mm-hmm. Put your hands together for Maddie Hansen, everybody. <laughs> Here she comes. I um, recently bleached my hair again because it's just easier to look dumb. <laughs> You know, personalities fade, but beauty is forever. You know the old saying. I am, um, I wish I was more like woke, you know? <laughs> like I wish I was like, I like Persian people too. <laughs> I am, um, I don't really want to be a feminist. <laughs> it's a lot of walking. Um, most of my friends are older gay men. Um, I call them my gunkles, gay uncles. And um, they're all bears, and if you're not familiar with, you know, gay culture, that's a genus of gays. And um, they all look like Teddy Roosevelt. And um, yeah, they're a little stuck in the past, you know, like a lot of gays didn't make it out of the 80s. There you go, Maddie Hansen, everybody. That's got to be a first. She was talking about bears when the bear sound went off. Right? That's, that's, that's probably a that's first. That's timing the, right there. Yeah. Uh, Maddie Hansen, you are by far one of the funniest Fox News anchors we've ever had uh, on the show. This is your first time on the show, right? Where are you from? First time signing up. Um, Northern California. Northern California. What part? Uh, East Bay. Where the bar ends. What is going on? He's out of control. He really is already. She lives out by the bearded barley. That's that song. <laughs> lines from that song. Thank you. Doug Benson, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie, how long have you been doing stand up? One year. One year. And you've been doing it all up there? Are you just visiting? Did you just move no, here? I live here. I've lived how long have you lived here? Ten years. Ten years. Wow. Hey, what is Hunter speaking? Uh, oh. I just want to say uh, I'm not attracted to you at all. <laughs> That's my boyfriend, Patty Reagan, right there. <laughs> uh, Why'd you break up with Chris Pratt? <laughs> <laughs> Doug Benson hitting a 1,000 point topical joke. This is, this is what happens home run derby. Yeah, I knew when he, when he lost weight, it was over. You know? Maddie, uh, what do you do for work? Um, I'm in property management. Really? Yes. We're like, what it was? <laughs> okay. I love how polite you are. Um, po- when you say property management, is that are you like, what's your day to day like? Um, leasing apartments, and then just like helping people unclog toilets. Yeah. Or like telling the Mexicans I- to unclog the toilets. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're starting to can win I, me over. Can I? You know. Um, <laughs> I've come on this show quite a few times, and people come up here, and they're, like, nervous, and, they're, and they lose in the moment what's going on. Not you. Uh-uh. Yeah, like, she, she like, I want to say, you came up here and, like, owned it, and it's, like, it's a weird yeah. angle for me because I just have all booty in my face. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it's very nice. Um, but, like, I couldn't see it, but I felt like you were really taking charge, and I think that's great. I don't, I don't think you should be doing property management. You should be trying to do this. I don't know why you don't. Yeah, do this. You know what I mean? Why aren't you trying to be like, I'm yeah. just curious. Well, I, I like clothes. Oh. And expensive. You don't think, you, don't think you can make things. it? Well, I mean, it might take a while. What else, what else do you spend your money on? Clothes? Clothes, food. You live by yourself? Extensions. I do. I live by where do myself. You, where do you live? Highland and Fountain. Highland and Fountain. Yikes. You should speak to a property manager, perhaps, because that's a horrible fucking location. <laughs> wow. Well, she's a slumlord, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you going to ask any dudes that are up here today, where do you live? What is your address? 
I disapprove. <laughs> what do you guys clap? Wait, yeah, yes, I do ask the guys that. You do? Okay, yeah, I was I setting up for a big wait. property management joke. I when I asked wait. it, I literally was like, please be a bad neighborhood. Highland and Fountain. Ling, 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 ling. And I execute it. Where do you go if she, she says a nice neighborhood? What's your response? <laughs> I would have been like, fuck. <laughs> I would have then gone into another question and made it look smooth. Oh, I like it. Like a good host does. But you, you did well. Maddie, what's one of the weirdest things about you that you don't want people to know about? Besides well, the racism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with people knowing that. Uh, yeah, she put that out there. It, it was, it was yeah, strong. That, that wasn't it. a I secret. Guess, I know, it's not a secret. Once you said the Fox thing, I was like, yes, good to go. Um, what was the whole thing I about like, you not wanting to be a feminist? Yeah, that's that's Stacy the feminist that's on the other. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Can I just say you are what is wrong with every millennial woman these days? Um, something about it was the walking. Right. You heard what she said. It was about the walking. Yeah, you know? it's the walking. That's well, like unprepared walking. What do you do for fun when you're not doing comedy? Um, I am currently reading a George Washington <laughs> A George Washington I what are you know reading? You, I didn't know I, you could I, do I that to people. A, I'm really really into colonial uh, American history. So I'm reading a George Washington biography. Wow. <laughs> Why is she being made fun of for reading? Yeah. <laughs> Is it that shocking that a beautiful woman can read? Do you want the real answer? <laughs> wow. Okay, Eric Griffin. <laughs> You're going to be tying up here very soon. You said that like his name isn't Eric Griffin. Okay, Eric Griffin. Or whoever you are. An impersonator. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, I mean, what colonial <laughs> history? That's what you're doing for fun? Well, Uh-oh, Tony's setting up a joke, everybody. I see the wheels turning. Wow. Wow, Eric yeah, Griffin. The way he just asked that question. So, colonial? <laughs> yeah, I was going back to the last thing we were talking about, but you're right. I was setting up for a joke. Sorry. Are you going to do that every time? that yep, I'm, yep, I'm calling doing, you out. <laughs> it's a comedy show. You know that, right? Oh, what are you doing, Tony? Being funny? Tony's the only one who gets elaborate setups, though, for his adventure. I do not fun. get elaborate setups. <laughs> you, you, guys get to, you get to lead yeah. her into your punchline. We have to just take the scrap. Oh, yeah, you guys have totally been letting me host this myself this whole episode. Yeah, totally monopolizing the show I am. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Maddie, yeah. how do you yeah. feel? This was your first time on the show? Wow, and you immediately got pulled out of the bucket. Wow. Just yeah. like a white what girl. A Fucking rigged Russia. There you go, Maddie Hansen, ladies and gentlemen. Her first yeah. time on the show. Yes. Your first person that you got to meet tonight. The slumlord of Hollywood. Back to the bucket we go. She's from Northern California. I'm going to be at San Francisco at so Cobb's. <laughs> I was August just waving 30th. at the guys, Stacey. I wasn't, you know, it looks like I wanted to smack her ass, but I was just waving at these dudes like, hey, y'all. As a, as a woman What's of up? color, I felt conflicted about her, but whatever. Ooh, is this jo Jolia Jimenez back here? Yes. God, <laughs> this guy's belly button's deep enough to do. <laughs> <laughs> Bring deep it on, enough Eric to Griffin. Do. Bring it on, yeah, Eric Deep to do it. Deep enough to do. I do not appreciate you fat shaming my sister back there. <laughs> you guys need to go on a feminist march. That's how you get rid of. Okay, Eric Griffin. <laughs> Maybe you could join the march, Eric Griffin. I will. It's a great way to lose weight. What's your last name? What's your last name? Jimenez. Jimenez. More like her. Extra, Menez. yeah. <laughs> Very good. Extra whole Jimenez. Okay. All right, boys. I pulled another name Cut out of the down. bucket. I, this is the part where I say the name that I pulled out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Justin Sherman. From deep in the corner, he's running. He's got a good pace going. He could be out of breath by the time he gets here. 
Justin Sherman, everyone. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. I was, uh, I was walking here, actually, on Sunset Boulevard, and I was walking in front of these two guys that they said they were excited about tonight because they're going to get their dicks wet. And I think, guys, we got to stop saying that because, first of all, anytime I think of a guy getting his dick wet, I just picture, like, a glass of water and then just him just <laughs> dipping the... We should say it not when we're talking about uh, hooking up with someone. We should say it when we're talking about going swimming. Then I'd say it all the time. Okay, boys, pool's open. Want to come over and get your dicks wet? Come on, Steve. Just splashing your friends like, get in here, get your dicks wet, let's go. That was 15 seconds. I don't... Got speakers and there's... This is great. Let's turn the neons back on. Let's turn the neons back. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Oh, it worked. Start there you my go. Time over. Start a, a minute from Justin Sherman. Was that okay? I did it. Justin, how are you, buddy? I'm good. How that are you? It was fun. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, like consistently, probably like two years. Where are you about? from? Yeah. Where are you from? Omaha, Nebraska. Where do you live? <laughs> yeah. Oh. There it is. You near Fountain? <laughs> Give us the intersection. What's the closest highway? <laughs> hey, Justin. Hey, Justin. Hey, what are a, you reading? Hey, right Justin, <laughs> Justin. Justin, you ever had a girlfriend before? What? You ever had a girlfriend before? Uh, yeah. It's the best, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right answer. Are you just visiting from Omaha? No, I live here. I've been out here for like three years. What do you do for work? I'm a PA, production assistant. Ooh, working on anything cool? Uh, just photo shoots. GQ covers? It's not. Nice. should have said Who's that. been on the cover of GQ lately? Um, we did Wonder Woman. I don't think I'm actually supposed to say Gal Gadot! Yes! 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 The best movie this... ever! <laughs> <laughs> shing, shing. I argue with people about this all the time, but I think she's attractive. The Wonder Woman girl? Yeah. All right. I guess that's, I guess that's for a different I show. I think she's kind of hot. Brian agrees. <laughs> Is that all you see in her? Her looks on the outside, I'd not like her to ability to save humankind? What? <laughs> yeah, dude. Justin, how she's many... Fine. When you say that, <laughs> When you say that you didn't do it consistently, stand up for a while, what ended up uh, happening to where you stopped doing it? Well, I, uh, I started in Omaha. There's only like one open mic a week. Yeah. So I don't count that. Yeah, down at Omaha's. Why can't it be... <laughs> I don't understand why it can't be called an open Michaela occasionally. <laughs> oh, my God. Why does... You... Oh, don't you dare... God. Okay, you've started it right now, Red Band. Okay, why it's it my back mic? on. Okay. Good joke, babe. Uh... So, there was one open mic. What, what, what were you doing in Omaha to keep yourself occupied during those other nights and days? I, I worked in a warehouse. I was saving up to move out here, so... What was in the warehouse? Uh, furniture. It was called Nebraska Furniture Mart. It was a giant warehouse. Huh. Uh, that's all. I wish I had more to say, but that's it. It's okay. What were you doing specifically? Did you get to drive a forklift or anything like that? No, I just loaded furniture into cars. Ooh, into actual cars? Yeah. Not even trucks? Trucks. Oh. Get those two uh, <laughs> trucks. <laughs> trucks. Wow. Can we go back to what, you, Can we go back to Maddie's apartment? <laughs> what's uh? What what is your love life? Do you like? miss it? Do you miss loading things? <laughs> yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every what's, day. What's your love life like? It's so. I mean, it's all right. What I don't know. It's, you have a you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. When this, the last time you had sex, what was that? Yeah. Like? How much trim are you crushing? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I've never even heard that verbiage before. Okay, right? Well, yeah, you're, this you're show hip. is just turning into a machissimo pig fest. <laughs> Stacy, talking about getting our dicks wet. <laughs> How about you get a pussy wet for a change, Eric <laughs> Griffin? Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, Stacy! <laughs> Can I slap this bitch? That's what I want to know. Pat just. <laughs> Pat just kissed his girlfriend, Stacy, for you come podcast on, listeners. 
Man, if you're not oh, watching God, this I'm in VR, you fucked up. I'm telling you right now. Surrounded by monsters. <laughs> you need to get your beat Monster wet. energy drink. Uh, so, sponsor? Justin, the last time you had sex, what was that like? It was a lot of fun. Yeah? Where'd you meet her at? Oh, uh, this is so uncomfortable. Bar. Let it happen, Doug. Okay, please, for the sorry. love of God. Sorry. It's like the worst thing you could do is so. just keep... Let it all happen, <laughs> Doug. No, it's all right, dude. Where'd, no. you, where'd you meet her at? I met her at a friend's party at a bar. You met her at a friend's party? What was the bar? Um, what was the cross streets? It was, pu- it was, uh, it was oh, in Los Feliz. It was a uh, public house in Los Feliz. Great place. Did you go back to her place or you went back to your place? I don't My like place. that bar. Our place? Like My his... place. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we are. You moved like in together immediately. Him. Yeah. You know how you try, you try to tell somebody's got to get the details to see if he's lying or not? <laughs> Plus, in real life, this whole thing would go straight to HR. <laughs> At the just, warehouse. Just, just asking somebody, hey, well, what'd you fuck last? <laughs> how was that when you were fucking the last time you did it? We Tell could, us we, all about it. We could just talk about movies and pot continuously, but uh, on this show we like to uh, get into some compelling uh, subject matter and put people on the spot yeah, in a live nobody show. nobody cares about movies. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about... <laughs> I forgot about the put them on the spot nature. I mean, it's a live show, oh, Doug. It's a whole thing. You've been a guest like nine times, but I'm glad that you're uh, having... A, was she a white girl, black no, I, girl, Mexican? I, I, I completely get what's happening. That's why I'm saying it's weird that you're asking him those questions. So now I'm really going to get into detail. When you got her back to your place, what happened then? We, uh, God, good grief. We, we, uh, we were both really drunk, so we just, it, you know. We had was it consensual? <laughs> yes, Jesus. How do you know it was? What part let you know that it was consensual? She, she was drunk. She initiated all of it. I don't ever initiate with girls. If she no does confidence. not audibly say yes, it is rape. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Stacey where do I, her own I don't know where to stand up here. <laughs> Anything stand out to you different about this last girl you had sex with that sort of was special or that was annoying or that you liked or didn't like? Uh, no. God, I suck. She, I wish there was, I, it's, no, it was pretty normal. She, she's dry or wet, because you, 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 you don't like having wet sex or something, right? Or Yeah, every time you hear it, uh... It's red band trying to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to the sound effects, bro. It's <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey, 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 dude. Hey, dude. Yep. So okay. when you said you worked at a furniture whorehouse, what does that mean? Like, like chase lounges and lazy boys, like, fucking each other? <laughs> okay, Hunter, we're going to have a talk in the car after this. <laughs> You've been having fun, though, doing stand-up and yeah. working as a PA? You're yeah, excited absolutely. about life? Very cool. LA's the best. Well, it was nice to meet you, Justin. All right, you too. Thank there you. There he goes. Another first timer on the show. He's on Twitter at Sherman Comedy. Make sure you tweet hashtag and at Kill Tony. A lot of people said that we were trending on Twitter last week, so I want to see if that can happen again. So make sure you hashtag and mention at Kill Tony. It's a real fucking crazy show. I don't think people realize how live this thing is. All right, let's let me put your see. hands together for Jeff Frucci. Frutchy? G E O F F? Wow, is that possibly him walking like The Undertaker? At that, the slowest pace perhaps I've ever seen? He stopped. Is this him? Here he comes. I do believe it's him. Can I get your number? <laughs> I'd rather just ask now. So you're we, sad that I won't think about it. thank you. So I'm from a small town, and uh, actually that song, is it on I, uh, iTunes yet? The Lonely Drunk Dealer? Because I can't hit home, because I'm from a small town. I sold drugs two doors down from the sheriff. And uh, people asked, like, how, that was pretty hard. Like, how'd you do that? And I said, it's pretty simple. I just sold my 20s for 15. And... <laughs> I'm moving into a new place right now, and uh, my roommate has a dog, and I don't have a dog, so it's not fair because, you know, dogs are going to run the fucking floor. And I think we might as well just play curling and with rakes and just fucking, I mean, it's going to be the same effect. I mean, I, 
It's the same thing. I just don't think it's fair because we're going to pay you, you know. But uh, this is actually my third time doing this, so just trying it out. Thank you for the laughs. Uh, but it's fun. I like doing this. Let's, uh, I'm waiting for this fucking uh, kitten right now. It's not going on. Oh, no, no. We want you to keep going. This is great. It's <laughs> a minute. Jeff, how do, you, how do you say your last name? I have a question. So. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You have a question, huh? Man, we've really let this thing get off the tracks tonight. Where do you live? No, no, you Kill know what? Tony <laughs> just started right now. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, I want to acknowledge, you really have the comedians in a ruckus. This is like a comedian favorite or something? These people must love watching you bomb all around town. Is that what it is? It's on a bomb, bomb streak? Bomb oh, streak. I thought they were sincere laughing. No. Now I could feel the hatred. I was like, why do they love this guy so much? <laughs> you do sort of look like a seal. I do see where Brian's going with this immediately. Do you hear that noise ever? Does it sound like your parents arguing? Let's leave it headed again. There you go. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so what's your question, Jeff? Should I go by my middle name, Jeffrey? It's going to be Jeffrey Allen or Jeffrey for sure. sure. She's thinking of the it couldn't name. matter any less. <laughs> I agree a thousand percent. Your name is not uh, what's uh, going to define you at all. Because nobody's going to wonder what it was when you're done. You know what I mean? Hey, it's, it's all right. Uh, you're one step away from doing sound effects on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Eric Griffin. Oh, no. <laughs> when you call him out, he overcompensates when you get him good like that. <laughs> I can make noises. I'm going to show you. I will make lots of noises. <laughs> Jeff, so what sick. the fuck? What, like, what, what's your thing? What do you think happened like, as a kid? Or like, what do you think your parents <laughs> drank or did? Like, if you had to guess, tell the truth. You can tell you're a little bit sluggish, right? <laughs> See, he knows. Stop your fucking pussy ass ooing and aahing out there. Why do you think you're slow? The weed thing? It's not, oh, it's not don't that. Don't blame the weed, man. It's not that. Come on, man. Doug and I, I know for Doug a is fact. A functioning high person right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm so fucking functioning. <laughs> no, his, uh, his parents hit him in the head with a brick of weed when he was there. <laughs> that wouldn't even hurt, dude. <laughs> fucking weed is soft as shit. Yeah, so he fell in a, like, on the grass, you know what I mean? <laughs> he, <was> just... <laughs> he fell on the lawn. Hey, yeah. Stacy. Hey, Stacy, you know what this dude looks like? He looks like uh, his former jiu-jitsu is beating up Jews. Okay, what did I say about doing this in public? We're going to wow. immediately as soon as we get outside. Jeff, what, how long have you been in L.A.? I keep waiting for him to go, rock a -bye. Remember that guy that sang that song? rock a -bye. That's what he looks like to me. Everything's gonna be all right. rock a -bye. rock a -bye. Yes, and he also looks like he was born in an octagon. <laughs> right on the, uh, right over the Monster Energy logo. That's what's in the middle of the octagon. Uh, Jeff, what are you, what are, what are you doing? Like, what's your thing? Trying it out. You can't get to the hospital. Let's go to the octagon. What do you do for work? I make chocolate. You make chocolate. Oh, my God. Now I remember. It's all coming back to me. You've been on this show before. Right? Twice? Wow. Shut up. I was like, Grandpa, what have you been doing lately? He's like, I made chocolate. Man. What exactly do you do at the chocolate place? Are you like the... I mean, <laughs> is this the Forrest Gump theme? <laughs> yes, it is. Are you Willy Wonka out in the world undercover? No, he's a, no, he's a big Oompa Loompa. <laughs> You would escape to Palupa. <laughs> Tony, I have a positive. Uh, he did learn how to talk into a mic this time. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. I, last two times you were on the show, you were ridiculously quiet. Now you're starting to project. 
Kyle Bond okay. all over the stage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Jeff, up. what are you? Uh, what are you doing? How are you surviving making chocolate? How did you get that job? Direct deposit. What? I said direct deposit. What? Direct deposit. He made a direct deposit joke. Uh. He's saying that his chocolate money is directly deposited into his account. <laughs> Oh, it hurts my brain trying to figure out how that's funny. Hey, I'm trying, and it hurts because I, I don't know. Eric, don't, if you could translate the rest of this interview, <laughs> it would be appreciated. Yeah, Eric, I didn't know that you spoke Devil's Rejects. Uh, Everything's gonna be okay. Where exactly are you from? Rockabye. Michigan. Michigan. What part? Beaverton. Trailer? You grew up on a trailer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, can, can I say something, Paul? This is your third time, and you like doing it. I love it. Okay, but do you like ride it all? Are I you do. trying to? Okay. And you're going to keep coming back until. Always. All right. Great Always. question. You're two steps away from being Stacy's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> would you hook up with Stacy? No. Would, you, would, would you, Jeff? If you, if you had had. You, do you drink at all, Jeff? I smoke more. Uh, you do, so you smoke more alcohol. <laughs> so how many uh, how many joints or drinks do you think it would take for you to really give it to Stacy if you had to guess? Asleep. What? I would just be asleep. I wouldn't. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's pretty wait, wait, cool, on, isn't it? Stacy, he'll fuck you in his sleep. Wait, this is a weird. That would be a weird rape. How old he's asleep? <laughs> how, <laughs> this happens. <laughs> Jeff. Weird shit happens on Ambient. <laughs> Jeff, how old were you when you lost your virginity? 20. 20? What family member was it? <laughs> oh, come on. Stop it. Behave yourself. So, thank you. The golf clap duo in the front. The perfect audience applause. It was right off the teleprompter. <laughs> I love that. Perfect for the 360. Wait a second. Oh, wait. Can we rewind for one hot minute? Oh. Did he really just say he would only have sexual intercourse with me if he was asleep? I, I believe that is what he said. Yeah, about a minute and a half ago. You need the translation. <laughs> Hunter, go. <laughs> Beat him up. Oh, I thought you wanted me to leave. I'm glad, babe. I'll stick around for the entire life span of both of us. I'll fucking put roses on your grave, and I'll visit every day. Wow, you're like the I'll worst Franco, Franco ever. He's not like a Franco, doesn't he? Well, yeah. that was only the first third of my speech, but <laughs> I love you. Oh, shit, I'm glad I interrupted you. <laughs> now I get why you have to be asleep to fuck Stacy. <laughs> Okay, this is really getting off the rails. Let's get back to this interview. It's really inappropriate in here. Any, anything uh, crazy happened to you in the past uh, few weeks since you haven't been on the show? I had a jujitsu competition. You had a jujitsu competition? Yeah. yeah, how did that go? I lost, of course, you know. Yeah, you really rear naked choked on stage tonight, I can tell you that. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Wow. Whoopsie daisy. Is that a fucking jujitsu? Wait, do you, go, do you go to jujitsu like you sign up for this? <laughs> Like, you don't really do jujitsu, you just went? Do they pull your name out of a pumpkin and you ever fight a guy? Next in the octagon, we'll be... <laughs> oh shit, my name came out of the purple pumpkin! Wow. So, how did the jujitsu competition go for you? Have you changed clothes since you did it? <laughs> I had a three-piece on last time. How, so how did the competition go for you? Uh, it was fun. I had a good time. What happened during it? It was a charity event. So was what was the charity fun. for? Okay. You? One of the instructors. <laughs> <laughs> what was it for? <laughs> Special needs is not a funny topic. Move on, Hotoni Hinchlip. But like in a charity event, is that like if it was you do for like special mud needs? wrestling, you know what I mean? Mud wrestling for kids with autism, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. That'd be good. Yeah, so that's what he did. He ju did jujitsu for whatever the cause was. Right? Everything's gonna be all right. Go fund me. Rock Go fund me. Did you guys, did you guys raise a lot? Uh, it was a lot of people. Yeah, probably two hundred oh. people. So. Very cool. Oh yeah. All right. Anything else? I keep doing this. And 
Well, you know what? What did you just say? I have a question. Why did you? You drive a Mercedes, right? No, stop, stop, Jeff. We're not gonna talk about this. No more questions. So I like what? All right. Now I sort of want to know. What? What is your question? <laughs> you drive a Mercedes, right? Yeah, he does. Why did you get that and not a BMW? There's no way I can answer this question without sounding like a huge dickhead. It is the question we all want to know, Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> I had a BMW before the Mercedes, and I test drove this Mercedes, and it was better than the other BMWs. Sorry. Why is it? First world problems. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it bad? I just don't, I don't know, I don't like bragging about having People a nice car. People like to drive a nice you car do. sometimes. Oh, with, with, with you fucking comedians I do, you're damn right, but not with the podcast fans and stuff. I take the bus because it's eco-friendly and more friendly on the human footprint. <laughs> do they make... Isn't that the same thing? You just said the same thing twice, eco-friendly and human footprint, same thing. And I don't have a car. So the dye in your pink hair that wasn't tr on animals or anything like that? I don't know where this is going, Eric Griffin, but you need to change your attitude immediately and focus on the task at hand. What's one yeah, of the... Yeah, sacks for you. Jeff, I'm going to ask you one more question. What's something creepy that you do that you think sort of creepy that might creep other people out sometimes? Oh, great really question. Besides, this, right? Besides yeah, right yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I already said the first time I was on here that brother and I shared jerking off socks, and you already asked me that question. No, I'm talking. I want to know something. I, first socks of all, socks even come in pairs. You don't need to share jerking off socks. You could take one each. That is such a good point. And it's brothers only three. Wow. Well, I mean, maybe they're the wetness. You know, that was their their jerk off sock was the original YouTube. <laughs> It was a Christmas I'm just shopping. saying, I mean, do the benefit of it, I don't know. Is it crusty? I mean, you could cut yourself. Uh, I think it's just laundry time. We're just trying so, to so it's a clean sock. Is it a okay. what, was it a white sock? Black. It was after you guys oh. were done. That. <laughs> so stupid. Once you That's go black, fucking... you never go back. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Once you go black sock. How about anything recently creepy that you've done? That's back in the day. I talked to you about five seconds ago. What? <laughs> What? What is this? By the way, who said the Jerry Springer audience to the left of the stage tonight? You guys are fucking crazy. Also, literally, who can even understand what he's saying and you're ooing? Well, let's find out if he's the father. Come on. <laughs> yeah, if there's like some sort of new wave of like comedy you can't understand, I think you're going to do great. <laughs> I'm going to change my last question. Like Tom I'm gonna ask, Hardy comedy. I'm going to ask you another one. You're from a trailer park in Michigan. You have... You have oh, oh, wow. You weren't even at the park. Jeez, that's even worse yet. Listen, I just live in a trailer. Wait, so you guys were rogue? It was like a rogue trailer? <laughs> where, 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 you just like put it wherever you wanted to wait, put it. Wait, what cross streets in Michigan was this trailer at? Are you, gonna, are, are you going to ask the guys what cross street they're at? Um, wow. Okay, so here's my question. If you, All the stuff that you've seen like your family do and all this and that, if you guys were going to be on an episode of like Jerry Springer or something like that, at what part, what do you think the thing would be? Your uncle once or your mom or your dad once did this, a bop -ba -ba, like what's a fucking like a thing with your family? Cause we would just say, Dad, please get a job. Hey, your dad provided a very nice trailer <laughs> that can move to different places. What did your dad, what, what, why, why wasn't your dad getting a job? What was his story? Drinker? Heavy drinker? No, he just laid on the couch, liked watching TV. What did he like to watch? Women work and progress in society. That's what he liked watching, Tony. <laughs> I highly doubt that, Stacy. He did watch the view, so he's at your corner. Is that true? That's very true, 11 o'clock a.m. So, would he, what would he... That was like porno for a trailer park. He wasn't even I mean? much of a drinker. He would just sit on the couch and watch TV in a trailer. Interesting. If you guys are on the... TV only got ABC. Yeah, if you guys are on the road, how are you getting that kind of TV? You steal it from the neighbor, like everybody else. <laughs> Wow, this is you interesting just need shit. Ears for that, Tony. Jeff, I think you're your own fucking documentary. I don't know anything about... I, you're a horrible guest on the show, but I think a great... Uh, your own documentary. I've never said that to a guest before, but there he goes. Jeff Frucci, everybody. Yes. Everything's gonna be alright. Rock a bye. Rock a bye.
You guys having fun out there or what? I pulled another name out of the bucket. Another uninterrupted 60 seconds goes to Judd Zumwalt. Oh, shit. Here he is. Oh, 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 I can't wait. <laughs> Judd Zumwalt, everybody. Come on. Thank you. I gotta apologize. I didn't know Jeff was gonna tell you about our sock situation. <laughs> Sorry about my little brother, guys. Um, man, I got a complaint with that, uh, that Indiana Jones movie. Y'all seen that? Indiana Jones was born in 1899. 34 years earlier, slavery was abolished, but somebody had to teach him how to use that bullwhip. I think Taekwondo might be a scam. I got my black belt when I was 10 years old. I'm 30 now. I don't remember a thing, and I'm positive I can kick a 10-year-old's ass. How is this the most offensive thing you've heard tonight? Huh. I think snowmen are stupid. That's, That's your minute. There you go, Judd Zumwalt. First of all, Stacey I, is I'm, already jealous of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say I love you on Friday Night Lights, and I keep waiting for you to have a feature film role that lives up to that. I, I also love you as the top half of every centaur I've ever seen before. Uh, <laughs> you really lucked out not having that bottom centaur half. <laughs> We're just, uh, Judd, uh, you've been on the show before. It's been a while, right? Yep, yep. What you been up to? Changed jobs. My movie came out that we talked about last time. Yeah? yeah. What's the name of the movie? President's Day. Ah. Remember we did all those president's puns? <laughs> no, I don't remember. Uh, I don't know why everybody Thank thinks I always see. remember every single person's appearance. We're at 230-some episodes of an hour-and-a-half-long show, Judd, and you're not that memorable or likable. Um, no. Why do you guys keep making that fucking noise? It's driving me crazy. Whoa! I'm sorry. I you know you're unlucky. You know you're. Too. You know you're and secretly, yeah. Red Band has got another. No. no. <laughs> That's the secret sound effect. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Judd, where are you originally from? You remember from last time I was on? No, I don't. Where is it? North Carolina. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna be in Charlotte in two weeks. Nice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what, con what wow. conditioner do you use? Sorry. Conditioner? Do you, what conditioner do you uh, use? Just, you know, whatever's there. Oh, I hate. Wow. You. No, it's you're conditioner. Fucking lying. The worst. I'm not lying. That looks too luscious. You like you caught walked up here. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of that shit. Yeah, <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> Stacy, what do you use? Other women's tears. <laughs> Me too. That's a great he, product. <laughs> it looks great. He uses, he uses the same thing, I bet. You do all right with the ladies, right? When was the last time you fucked? Yeah, good question. People love to know. Now I want to know. Judd, what is the answer? You seem like a real lady. Oh, how long have you had a girlfriend? A year. We just hit a year. Nice. Oh. What does she do? Yeah, she here supporting you? Does she look? Does she look like a boy from behind, and you make make people sad walking down the street? Just, uh, yeah, it'd be great if she had short hair, right? <laughs> and dudes came up behind you. What's up, girl? Oh shit! She's uh, she's, she's better looking. Than Has me. your career changed since that movie President's Day came out? Slightly. Yeah. What's yeah. the new job? You said you switched jobs. Yeah, I work at Barney's. Barney's. Scenery. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the wrong side of the Barney's that you want to work at. Yeah, not the clothing last, store? Uh, no, no, the uh, beanery. <laughs> no, I, uh, I mean, last time I was here, I was in a dish pit. 
Oh. It's, it's, you know, slightly better. Wow. You're not Look at that. Right? Stacy, what do you think about that? This guy was taking a, a, a job from a lady as a dishwasher. How does that make you feel, Stacy? Okay, the fact that you would assume that a woman should be doing dishes, first, is insulting. I think, second, it's great he's providing for his girlfriend, as he should. <laughs> yeah, babe. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> So now you're Barney's Beanery, uh, yeah. with the one on Santa Monica? Yeah. Wow. That's, you get hit on by a lot of gay guys? Yeah. <laughs> Any of what do you do, give them a handy out back? So the hair's yeah. for the tips, is that what's going on? Just the tips. Hey, when you're in a relationship, when That's you're the funniest thing you said all night. <laughs> you, too. You, you, you opened with the Indiana Jones reference. <laughs> Topical. Hey, I liked it too. You're like, you're sort of like, hey, how about that Indiana Jones? Right, like it just came out. How about that Indiana Jones thing? You know. Like not even which one. There were four of them. It's also a TV show. Hey, when you're in a relationship. What, what are you talking about? Indy. It was called, uh, what is it? Young Indy. Yeah, Young Indy. Yeah. It wasn't called Young Indy, I know. Hey, when, when you're in yeah, a relationship. It's young Indiana it? Jones Chronicles or some shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Little baby Indy. Yeah, I'm over here. Okay, hey, when you're in your relationship, uh, do you ever look into your girl's eyes? That's no, a good so question. I into your girl's eyes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, dude, oh, that's you're a traitor, dude. Wait, Stacy. Wait, I think Stacy sort of likes this. Look at this. Oh. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, this attention's kind of nice. <laughs> Just like a woman. <laughs> Okay, Eric Griffin, you and I, outside, 10 minutes, right now. 10 minutes and all right now. Wow, that's, wait, all oh. your feminism that, went out the door not gonna last you got 10 some minutes. attention. Just, uh, he wants to fight right now and again in 10 minutes. That's, I've never really heard somebody get double called out like that before, but uh, he's feminist. I will feminist. fight you twice. So, <laughs> go, so now? Uh-oh. Are you going to go out and fight right now? The moment has passed. <laughs> so Judd, um, you've been with your girl. What does your girlfriend do? She works at UCLA in the extension program. In the ex you're, we're talking about so hair cool. extensions, right? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean, extension program? So you got a sugar uh, they mama. Just, they just reach out to. I mean, you know, UCLA is pretty popular in America, but they want people from other countries to come to their school. Oh, so extension to other countries. Yeah. Interesting. So they go and they recruit. Yeah, uh, basically. Wow. So she's gone all the time fucking other dudes? Yeah. <laughs> mm. They've been, been together a year, though. Right? A year? Right. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, five years. What's the coolest Wait. thing you've done in five years? In five years of doing stand-up. Hold, hold the fuck on! Uh, five years?! Uh, Probably once or twice a year. <laughs> Yeah, total time, uh, total time. Counting kill Tonys. You, do you do a lot of spots? Yeah, I do. Not as many. Four times in five years. <laughs> I, but, uh, I mean... <laughs> oh, my God. So, like... Hey, 20 what, years, he's going to be great. What <laughs> yeah, what's the coolest thing you've done in five years of stand-up comedy? The coolest thing I've done is that my movie's on Amazon Prime, and I'm working on my second one now. Wow, what's the next movie going to be called? I've got an Amazon Prime right here. <laughs> wow. Oh. The next movie is called... Uh, so she's a female star. Autobot? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Amazon. Confessions of a Porn Star? Yes. And what's your role in it? I'm an 80s porn star. It's a mockumentary. Oh. So what scene do you die of AIDS in? The one after I fuck your mom. Whoa, double your mama jokes oh. over there. Um, all right. Well, right to your mom jokes. I don't know, oh. I feel like we could probably be good friends. Five years. <laughs> Judd, we noticed that uh, you have a little bit of like a Miley Cyrus thing going on. You have that big luscious hair, but over your... Oh, wow. Um, why that? What made you take some off the sides? I don't know, it's just been long for a while. I thought it would feel good. <laughs> but wow. you can't. I, uh, so you, you, Which Indiana you Jones shame. movie were you re referencing? <laughs> like, do you know the difference between them? All, yeah, all of them. He's the same age. I mean, he's the same character in all of them. Oh, that no, is you're true. You're not a real fan. Good point. 
All right, well. Temple of Doom or nothing! Does your girlfriend have a foot fetish? Because you are the sexiest big toe we've ever had on this show. <laughs> Man. You can't see his can't big see toe. His no, he toe. looks like a big toe. His, oh. his face. Oh. Jesus a thumb, a thumb. By the way, the funniest thing is uh, Joel Berg, uh, the drummer that's usually here, Joel Jimenez, right. is notorious for killing in a street. I'll all free the, the nipple right all the, now. Wait, 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 wait. I, uh, yeah, all the time. He, he kept in a row, always. But this just goes to show, I think this transition just goes to show how unfunny female comedians really are. <laughs> okay, okay, Tony. I mean, he was, he's always... Ki- <laughs> wow. Horse really? of truth, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> we have the horse of truth on this show. Well, that's what it is, the horse of truth. All right, Judd, there you go. Back to your horse body. Go be the top half of a centaur. Yeah, he has to go slay something mythical. Clearly, as you could tell by the, how the mic is set, Wee Man is going to be coming up here to be your next comedian. Shout out, he's actually in the house. Boom, Wee Man. Make some noise for fucking no Wee Man. Way. Hell yeah. Right down the middle. Those are our buddies. Nice to see you, man. Nice yeah. To see you. Bye. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Adam Bennett. went up is like six feet tall. Why was this down here? So, I've been in LA for four years, and it is fucking hot here. Like, everybody's like, oh, it's summer all the time. The sunshine, yay. To which I'm like, the fucking trees are dead. (laughs) It was really about a year ago when on the news, all you saw was there was this huge storm right off the coast, and it was bringing all this torrential downpour, and like fucking Coldwater Canyon and Laurel Canyon were dissolving in on themselves. Like the atmosphere just dropped in acid, and all those old dead trees I just talked about were like, oh, it's a bargain ride before we drown and meet Satan. And everyone was like, it's gonna save us. Are you fucking shitting me? I know I'm from the East Coast, but I'm staring into the angry maw of Poseidon just coming at me like a watery freight train, just, and I. And I look around and you're all going, I'm singing in the rain. Just say, you have achieved a whole new paradigm of fucked. I am sorry. Now, don't get me wrong. I come from a place where I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Everybody hates you. Anyway, that's the end of my set. (laughs) Adam Bennett. I'm from Pittsburgh. Good night. I like how prepared he was. Burger, right? he was prepared. Adam, Adam, how's it going, man? It's, it's your first well. time on the show, right? Yes, it is. How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, this is my f- third set. E- and ever? La- um, yeah, my last one was about two years ago. Adam, you should, uh, you should move the mic stand out of your way so uh, the audience can see you try too hard. <laughs> Better. <laughs> When you delivered that paradigm of fucked joke and there was complete silence, did you feel like you were in a paradigm of fucked? (laughs) (laughs) Patty Reagan. Please mansplain it to him. Pat. (laughs) Could you go a little harder on him? That was rough. Holy shit. I love it. Man, I like your energy. It's very nice. Thank you. I like your hair. Thank you. When you get tired of him, just let me know. Adam. That's all this attention I'm getting tonight. <laughs> We're going to fight with our shirts off pretty soon. Adam, Adam, over here, Seriously. over here. Just relax, okay? You're a chimey little one, huh? Uh, where does all this energy come from? Uh, well, mostly I, it's my first time. I was trying to get my whole set out in 60, min- in 60 seconds. Uh-huh. Um, I'm just Do you have a musical theater background? Not, no, I have a theater background. Theater. Because we, we, I thought I might have smelled that a little yeah. bit. I hear a little, like... <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Wait, that's not, that's not what I was saying. Yeah. I'm saying it. I was saying, I was saying you had a theatrical, like a college or high school theatrical energy. I'll yeah, say I, it. I think, I think Adam said, had a... Uh, you did said. not say that the about... The undertone, you just went, I did not say that you about this heterosexual <laughs> young man. Are you straight? Yes, I am. I knew it. <laughs> Do you ever eat at the Barney's Beanery on Santa Monica Boulevard? Perhaps they wouldn't hire me. What? I tried to apply there. They wouldn't hire me. What do you, what do, you do for work? Uh, I am a server. Where? Uh, Yard House in uh, 
right by LA Live. Thank you, Nick. No. <laughs> oh, that's a good yard house. That is a good yard house. <laughs> <laughs> is there some kind of yard house rating system that I don't know? Oh, I, I like yard house in general, <laughs> but that's a good yard house. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. How long have you worked at the yard house? Uh, I have been there for a year, or would, almost a year. What did you do before that, server? Uh, I've been a server for five years. Um, I've been in L.A. for about four years. So Places wait. other than yard house that you've served? Uh, I was at Gulfstream in Century City before it closed. I was in Seasons 52 in Century City before it closed. Good, both good restaurants. Well, thank you. <laughs> so you Look out, yard it. house, you're closing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a curse, basically. <laughs> So, Adam, uh, that's interesting. We can't. You, your most recent relationship was how long ago? Uh, about two months. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that, how'd that end? Uh, she decided she wanted to be with her ex again. So. Yeah, dude, you shouldn't have showed her your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been when your second set was, huh? <laughs> So this is your third time on stage. How do, how do you feel about it? Is this something that you like? Or like? Um, yeah, I like it. Um, I mostly, like you said, I have a background in theater. I, I try to do voice acting, so I'm not used to... Can you give us an example of some wacky voices you could do? Can you name, oh, name, have... name the voice and then do it? Yes, if you talk to an old man, he comes into your restaurant. Son, the sun is starting to That's rain. a bad one. Okay, oh, let's man, move on. that's just amazing. <laughs> okay. Who is that? Do an, try another voice. Well, who was that one? That was bad old that man old impression. Man. Oh. Bad, that was bad old man impression. Oh. I can do my creepy high-pitched voice for you. Creepy high-pitched voice for <laughs> you. Talking about the same high creepy pitched voice. Now you're going to right say now. it's bad, but wait a second. Adam, anybody can do these voices wait, these that you're These are doing. impressions of just, yeah. It's so not, you got to do something more specific. Oh, hold on. Oh, you gotta be more specific. Everybody, can who read. can you do an impression uh, of? Mark Hamill's Joker. All oh, right. All right. Let's here see. we go. Let's hear it. Memories can be memories. Can be <laughs> memories. All right. Awful little brutes like oh, children, I suppose. <laughs> All right. You are hired. <laughs> Wow. We want to know why you're going so hard on this guy over here. <laughs> I don't know. It's because his girlfriend thinks I'm hot. So, Adam, so what's, what's, uh, what, what are you into when you're not, uh, I mean, what do you do for fun? What are some things when you're not working at the yard house and doing, obviously, you don't do much stand-up, so what do you like to do to uh, <laughs> have fun? Uh, I'm kind of boring. I live in North Hollywood. I love the art center over there just because there's not a lot of, like, people. It's very intimate, very quiet, like... If I'm going to go out, I like there to be, like, as few people as possible, just, like, to chill, like, quiet little... Dumb. You like to go to the art center, is your answer? Faggot! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that word is offensive and shouldn't be ever used as a punchline. <laughs> okay, cunt. <laughs> hey, Adam. Adam, I'd like to com- I'd like to compliment you on your uh, uh, good job. Uh, I don't have I don't think you're I love you and uh, I think that uh, you used very good words. You had better vocabulary than ninety percent of these fucking nimrods. So well, now you're sucking his cock. Wow. Just like, <laughs> and just you went hard on the guy when he first came. Now he's all like, other, other, oh, good with your words. <laughs> Is it all dick stuff with you, Eric Griffin? <laughs> It's all than, dig all the time. Other than the art center. Let's get, uh, we got the art center. What's your second favorite thing to do for fun? You live in Los Angeles, California. Uh, honestly, I, um, like I, sort of like I said in my set, I'm not a huge fan of living here. Nothing against LA. Because of the heat? Because it just, the, I'm an East Coast guy. Like, I like trees. I like hills. I like the woods. Well. <laughs> I like it. long walks in the. Um, I like right. the leaves changing. Wow. All that kind of stuff. But, you know, Did I. Did you ever like, do voices when you were, like, serving at Yard House and those places? When you, like, give the food? Do you, like, do a little uh, yeah. old man voice? You ever funny at the table? Yeah. <laughs> Are you that guy at the Would table? Like the I'm, not, I don't t- I'm very good at my tables. I'm the guy who goes back to the employee area and just makes fun of the guests when they annoy me with everybody else. Just like... Oh, that's what we're going to do to you when you... <laughs> You've been doing it while I'm on stage, so why bother? <laughs> oh, 
All right, Adam. Well, it was nice to meet you. Uh, you you're not on social media? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Well, there you go. Not yet. I, I, I get the. You I get totally. Adam, check it out. Look into what are you waiting? It. On? Adam, I get the feeling that if you keep up uh, your work ethic, you're going to be back in the on the East Coast in no time at all. Uh, so, anyway, there you go, Adam Bennett. Everybody. Thank you so much, guys. You podcast listeners can't you tell this, but. Three notes the whole show. They keep playing the same chords. <laughs> Play some shit. You gotta admire a comedian who's gonna, you know, get into the game without social media. That is, that takes some nerve. You know what? Let's Good do, uh, guys. Please, can you? Oh, I mean, really? It's out of fucking control. It's live as fuck. Everybody, get it together. <laughs> Yeah, We're going to uh, okay. music, and then we set a thing, and then you just read the next name. It's that easy. Yeah, no, I know. That's the part that I'm trying to get to with yeah. that part, I'll, guys. Right now, was silence when you started telling yeah. us we were yeah. talking over you. You're like the bingo guy at church. Just, I know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you, guys, you can't pull post. the shit out of the bucket. <laughs> Very good. No, that's not how it works. So on this part of the show, uh, this is the part where you bring up our regular every yes. single week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, every single week, she does a brand new minute. We're going to go back to the bucket after her. You know her. You love her, everybody. It's the Frankenstein of Kill Tony, the great Allie Makovsky. I uh, accidentally watched porn when I was seven years old for the first time. It was a frightening experience. I wanted to watch just a humble kids movie. I pressed play on my dad's old VHS tape. Bam, 80s porn, black and white. I was terrified, I screamed at the top of my lungs and my dad from downstairs says, what's wrong? I was like, it's spiders. Now whenever I see spiders, I just get all horned up. I can't watch any of the Spider-Man movies. I'm like, spider webs on my face, please. <laughs> I, I read this study that you eat eight spiders in your sleep. I just found out I eat 58 because I just fucking love spiders. <laughs> How much time do I have? I have one more joke, but I feel like maybe leave it there. Just wait, okay, I wish my mom had a fidget spinner. <laughs> because there's no technical issues with fidget spinners. I don't want to have to call her anymore being like, uh, oh, Allie, my fidget spinner isn't downloading. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Perfect. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy, with some new notes. That's five new notes for you, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, I love this. Allie, that's fun. Uh, any of that true? Yeah, I accidentally, I wanted to watch a mo the, yeah, the porn is true. <laughs> you were at your dad's place? I was at my dad's place and I wanted to watch a movie, but I was like, let's just see what's on. And boy, so did so I not want to watch so your that. Your dad just has porn ready to go at all times. <laughs> yeah, he's ready. It's just in the VHS. He just hits the. <laughs> you, should tell that, you should tell the thing about seeing porn too early and then go, speaking of fidget spinners. <laughs> It's a good transition. <laughs> was it a specific kind of porn that it was? What you remember? Did anything stand out to you specifically? Was it just I just remember it was black and white, and the girl had like a huge bush, and I just had never seen anything like that before. You know, I was pre. You mean she was literally. natural, Allie? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the outfit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You never saw your mom's bush growing up? No, but here's something. Growing up, growing up, I was the third born, so whenever I would see my mom naked, like, her tits were just so gross. And I just, like, I wish that I could, like, see a picture of her in her prime, because I wanted, I want to know what, like, her young, hot tits were like. You had Stacy riled up right now. Maybe they were disgusting because they were breastfeeding your arrogant little dumb mouth. <laughs> Why can't you see a picture of her? She doesn't. She doesn't have pictures. There's no of her. pictures. No. She existed before photography. No. I don't know. 
I don't think she was the woman who took naked pictures of herself. Oh, oh naked uh, she pictures. Was. Yeah, okay. I want to see like prime text. <laughs> you want to see her naked? Did you mention your dad or hint to him at all that you saw his porn? No. no. How, what do you, how do you think he would respond if you told him that? He'd probably be super chill about it. Yeah. Well, you know, think of this though. At that moment, you turned that porn on. That's when your dad comes. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, that is a really good point. Oh, no. oh, Can't yeah. believe she didn't. Yeah, he just that. got finished going. You know, and he turned it off. <laughs> so you probably saw some story. There was like. <laughs> yeah, there was probably still the smell of hand lotion in the air. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what did your dad do? Both of my parents are longshoremen. Really? Have we yeah. ever talked about this before? Maybe. They like load stuff yeah, on docks. Yeah, they work on the docks in San Pedro and Long Beach, and the cargo that comes in from China, they like take it off the ships and put it on land. Your mom does this too? Yeah, my mom was Is the it first. So one surprising to do it. a woman can do the exact same job that a man can, Eric Griffin. She well, probably got a uh, well, pay with her tits. You know what I mean? <laughs> does she get paid the same? Yeah. Same yeah, thing. nice. Yeah. yeah, that's how it See? should be. They, See, they equal just, pay for equal work. Does she get called a longshore woman? No, I'm just longshoreman. Keep it simple. What do you think about that, Stacy? Yeah. You know. <laughs> is it? Do they call her? Should we, should do they a call her shore chick? What should we? <laughs> short no, like they call her longshoreman because they're Jewish. <laughs> Shoreman. Oh. <laughs> Boy, Jesus she... Christ! Wow. God. Okay. How many people? How many people? How many people? Are... Tracy and Hunter in the car right now. <laughs> 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 I don't know. You the need to sign up for Kill Tony. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> he does sign up for Kill Tony. <laughs> I have Eric. It's gone well, okay? <laughs> it's so it's a goddamn anomaly how unfunny he's been tonight. It's it's I, such what a what is happening? One out of a thousand. Sorry. <laughs> You're damn right. I'm the first to defend. Joel Berg's a killer. Julia Berg sucks. <laughs> Um, all right, anything else in your real life crazy since uh, a week ago? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. You're, you're jobless right now, is that correct? I'm still jobless. My parents actually signed me up to be a longshoreman. Oh, yeah, <laughs> family business. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, thank you. Right. It's just too much work, and I don't want to do that. I want to be a comedian, you know? Yeah. can't tell jokes on the docks. It's sad. That's, uh, that's true. <laughs> I don't you know can. if that's I true, but I'm cheer up everybody on yeah, the dock. Yeah, great. Yeah, because yeah. it's like a solo t thing. It's not like teamwork. Oh, you like don't, you're, you're not car. near anybody else? No, it's like know. very sad. Who's out here lifting shit? <laughs> what are the hours, and are they hiring? <laughs> well, Ali, you did it again. Another brand new minute from Ali Mikofsky. There she goes, everybody. Back to the bucket. Who's excited about the bucket out there, Back huh? Back to the bucket. Huh? Back to the bucket. Ooh, this looks Challenge interesting. <laughs> Put your hands, and then you just did it again. You see how it keeps that? You guys literally keep it. It's the funniest thing at this point. We don't need to do it. Did it for Put your hands. They're, they're, they're both stepping on you. Very funny. Very funny. That's how we're gonna do it. Tom. Okay, very good. Put your hands together for the great Cheezer L, everybody. See now, people don't know who the fuck is coming up. The show with the format, the great Cheezer L, everyone. The great Cheezer L. All right, I was excited about I'm that. A hole. Oh, here he comes, the great Cheezer L. You're not the great Cheezer L. Uh, Wait, you're just walking through at the time? It's a guy that just sits that is there. Bad timing. Put your hands together for Wayne Roberts. Wayne. Stand up. Oh, you put your hands up. Wayne Roberts, everyone, clap your hands for him. Thank you. Sexy crowd. Talking to this guy with the beard and glasses right here. You ever find yourself sitting all comfortable at the window, staring out at the beauty of nature and life and thinking, wow, how the hell did I end up in the psych ward? Again? And why am I comfortable? <laughs> That beautiful big pharma cocktail. While in there, I had a suicidal roommate. His wrists were so scarred, it looked like Spider-Man cuffed him with webbing. When not in the cuckoo house, he was an actual licensed nurse. So again, I was comfortable. 
Bam. <laughs> Food made you roll your eyes. The nurse liked to wake you whenever the hell she wanted. Drunks and drug addicts riddled the place. Felt like the house I grew up in. <laughs> Comfortable. Wayne Roberts, all right. Okay, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. I'm so sorry that I challenged Stacy. Okay. Get those three notes back. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, you're Wayne set. Roberts, everybody. Wayne Roberts. Yeah, it's Wayne. about that. Wayne, your set sounded like uh, sounded like Johnny Depp narrating a movie. <laughs> yeah. You're just on one today. Was that, that was that all true? Absolutely. I, I like that. I Except like the honesty. Can the I give you a brand new stage name? Chuckles Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Except that you're going to have to get good before you can call yourself Chuckles because uh, right now it's just uh, Chuck Boris or something like that. Um, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, sporadically for a couple of years. You started in the prison yard and you worked your way out to the comedy clubs. You've been to prison before? Uh, jail, not prison. What'd you go to jail for? Just the DUI and drunk and disorderly, a couple of those. Ooh, what were the disorderlies? Were those, uh, did you do anything fun? Rip your shirt off, do something crazy? Well, you're not feeling like that right now, though. Right? Peeing you on a bush. Because I'm Man. the first person, you know what I mean? <laughs> if, you, if you start to go crazy, please go that way first. <laughs> We've all been drunk. What was so disorderly about what you did? Uh, some, uh, there was a little bit of a scuffle outside, and the cops came. And what was the race of the people you were scuffling with? Wow, it got quiet here like it wasn't a uh, funny question at all. No, it was all white. Was yeah? All like he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking believe I'm standing here. Why? Why can't you believe it? I just didn't expect to get my name picked. You signed up earlier, right? Hmm? Did you sign? Yeah, yeah, but I just didn't expect to get picked. Yeah, it's not the lottery. There's not that many. Yeah. <laughs> There's a very good chance you're going to get picked. Yeah. Probably about one out of a 60, 65, 70, something like that. What do you think about that? I'm still surprised. Do you get lucky a lot? No. What do you do for work? I focus on voiceover. Really? Ooh. Go to jail. Any, to get lucky. Can you do an old man? <laughs> yeah, let's hear. Can we hear some of your voices? <laughs> well, this is my creepy voice. This is my old man voice. I think he's more of an announcer guy. Really? Can you yeah. give us a, can you no, give us a little example of something that you can do or have done? Uh, like right now, my biggest thing is Hong Kook Tire. Can you give us an example, like what that sounds like when you do it? Uh, trying to remember the lines, uh, the, the words. You could really just say anything. I don't give a fuck as long um, as it sounds like as long as it sounds like your voice, radio voice, or whatever. It, uh, all right, man, blanking. Uh, yeah, this is it. This is what you would hear. Uh, just that? Is, you just yeah. talk just like it would that? Just be my voice and it wouldn't be so fucking bad. The 2017 wow. you, Chevy you, Alado. In your voice, can you say, I'm sorry I told that guy he looked like a big toe? I'm sorry I told that guy he looked like a big toe. How old are you? 40, I'll be 46 Friday. And you, how long have you been on stand up? Sporadically for a year and a half, two, almost two What years. made you start? Just finally decided it, I wanted to do it and finally got the ball. You ever been married? Yeah. What, how, what was that like? It sucked. I knew that from the yeah, just when you said that. Yeah, what sucked about it? What'd she do? What was the thing? It just wasn't the right mix. Mm, she mm. was black? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that might have helped. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Hey. <laughs> How long were you with her for? Uh, total six years. Yeah. And when it went wrong, it wasn't one thing in particular. It was uh, just a plethora of things. Or you have, can you be any more descriptive about where the marriage took a wrong turn? Uh, simply put, I got accused many times of uh, being unfaithful, which I wasn't. And then at the end, I decided, fuck this, I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's Self-fulfilling big. prophecy. Yeah. It is interesting. But you were with her for six years. Like, at what point did it start to get shitty? Was it year one? Or tell me it was year five. But <laughs> no. It, it, was, it, was, it was good. Mostly. Here and there, it was, it was mostly good. Okay. But Thank you. Say something bad. nice about her, right? It went bad. It went bad. And when you I got tried. into that fight for the drunk and disorderly, do you remember what that fight was about specifically? It was with her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, what so started? My yeah. girlfriend at the time didn't want me to drive, so I threw my keys uh, a few a few yards. Uh -huh. So we had to go search for them, and there was some arguing going on with other people. And oh. Somebody told them that there was a dis domestic dispute, which there wasn't. So they came and harassed us, and I was stupid and said, "You just leave us alone, or fucking arrest us." So they arrested me like an idiot. <laughs> This I sounds was I was a drunk. little suspect. That's, that's pretty much it. Hmm. If you say shoot me, they will. Yeah. Well, not you. Yeah. So, any, 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 anything crazy happened to you ever when you were in jail? <laughs> anything that stood out to you? Did little? you get fucked? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think he did. This guy doesn't look like he even picks up the soap, let alone drop it. Whoa, Tony said he doesn't bathe properly. No, but that was quick. Tony's on fire. I'd like to see you be the new Trivago <laughs> guy. <laughs> Trivago, yeah, I think you'd be a good sportsman. Oh, I hate that guy so much. Least favorite? Oh, Any God. memories about jail? Anything? Trivago. I, I was hammered, so the two times I was in jail, I don't really remember much. But oh. the psych ward. Oh, I bet you were hammered. What was the psych by ward? By other inmates. What, uh, what happened at the psych ward? Uh, I, I had a little bit of a meltdown and uh, stupidly recorded it and put it on YouTube. Really? Tell us more. Come on, Wayne. You're like Wait, almost a good interview. Yeah. You're longer? so close to being a good interview. Can I we can't. Watch it? Yeah, the fight was over something. It was a crazy fight. Well, yeah, and then I did a meltdown. What the fuck are you talking about? Tell us, motherfucker. Describe the fucking meltdown, Wayne. You're being interviewed right now. Uh, my ex was keeping my daughter from me, even on the phone, to yeah. talk and everything. She, yeah. There was some shit. What? Some stuff went down, family-wise. <laughs> yeah. And I melted down a little bit, recorded it like an idiot. Like, what did you, and what did I was you accused say? Of, yeah. I was accused of saying... There, people are always was, accusing you of shit, Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Only one... So was, what did you do on this meltdown? Yep, I was go ahead. accused. Uh, they said that I, 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 I mentioned suicide, but I didn't say I was going to commit suicide. Also, oh, because my of the phone. video, they put you in the psych ward. Yeah. My, ah. Yeah, some people called the cops, and then they treated me like a child molester. But you weren't really going to commit suicide. So no, was, I never even said it, that. So it was only one person heard that, and that right. was my ex. Mm. On, that was the only view that you had on your YouTube page? Jeez, <laughs> Wayne, we really have to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you really have what what were the name? comments underneath your video? <laughs> yeah. the only, one <laughs> only one person saw it, but there were two comments for some <laughs> reason. This shit sucks. This is the worst goddamn meltdown I've ever seen. Those YouTube commenters are mean. You ever been accused in VR? <laughs> oh my god. What the uh, fuck oh, is going on here? How, how, do you know how, how do you know how child molesters are treated? You said they treated me like a child molester. They came, three cops came in about a suicide call, and they treated me like I just oh, fucked Oh, like it was a really bad thing is what you're saying. Okay. It, was, it was disgusting. My, like what? A friend of mine was there, and he said, what are you guys doing? Be Why more descriptive. What, was, what were they saying or doing? They were walk, looking at my kid's pictures and going, oh, is that your kid? Ain't gonna be seeing her for a while. They, it was because you were threatened to commit suicide. But I actually hadn't. They, that's what they had been told by my ex. Jesus. But I had, didn't. I never actually said that stuff. Did you ever get any revenge on your ex for any of the shit that she did to you? No. Have you ever been to a trial? Like, did you go to like? Were you in front of the judge talking like this? Much later. Yeah. This, have, this is right, you right before you went to jail, right? <laughs> Do you have mackerel in your pants? Because this smells fishy. Yeah. <laughs> have you? I don't even think Johnny Cochran could have got you off. You know what I mean? Have you seen the this movie? This whole section is not laughing at anything. What happened to you guys over there? No. Oh, okay. They're mad. I'm taking up all this They're time. They're done. Tony, say something offensive so they can... Hey, it. comedians. <laughs> this could be you someday. <laughs> have you seen the movie Big? I have. Okay, great. <laughs> That's actually an interesting thing that you brought up because Brian and I, during this episode, and since we're in 360, this will be something fun for those of you live streaming it right now. We were talking earlier about how this guy in the red shirt looks yeah. like the child from the, the movie Big. He's grown up. You <laughs> weren't the child from the movie. Why don't you stand up? Take a he bow for like everybody. Yeah. I mean, it is Turn him. around. Look at everybody. Wave to them. <laughs> Wave to them. <laughs> the people behind you. You're po there you go. Yeah. Very good. I actually Why does that I, look like a hairpiece. I actually <laughs> looked it up and it's not him. He looks like shades from that thing you do. Oh. A little something fun for the people in 360. Good oh. one, babe. 
All right. Well, Wayne, let me ask you a question. You've been accused of a lot of stuff. You've been wrongfully put in jail, psych wards, this and that. What is the most criminal thing you've ever done in your life that you maybe got away with? Maybe you didn't, but maybe you did. Uh, There's another video for YouTube. <laughs> I'm, trying <to> think. <laughs> I'm trying to think if the statute of limitations has run out. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has. It's, it has. It's, it's, it's 2032 right now. It's, it's two years in LA. Think back allegedly. to when you were treated like a child molester. <laughs> uh, it was a radio station uh, deal way back in the day that. I don't know. Somebody won. It wasn't me, though. Right? Are you reading, like, a Law and Order this script? This is the what? vaguest motherfucker <laughs> in the This would be the worst Law and Order. You know, dum, 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 Wayne, dum, 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 dum. come on. Wayne, tell us the story. What is it? <laughs> Were you accused of being a Kenny Loggins impersonator? <laughs> I'm all right. Don't know. Okay. Wayne, tell us the story. What's the most criminal thing that perhaps you got away with? Uh, Come on, Wayne. Answer one fucking question, will you? Has anybody question. ever interviewed you on any, for anything before? No, I'm usually the one doing the interviewing. All right. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, this is, this is great I know that you hey. know exactly what it is. I could tell you're just hesitating to say it. But the statute of limitations has run up. I'm positive of this. this yeah. These kind of answers is why the dude from Making the Murderer is still in jail. <laughs> Wayne, come on. You gonna give it to us? No. Somebody I knew won a big contest, and I maybe I had something to do with it. Maybe I. Wrong. <laughs> 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 You're a little teddy bear. It's true. I think he was wrongfully accused of all that other oh, stuff. Geez. That hey. was like an episode of CSI. Trying to get, wow. Trying to get <laughs> Red Band, I think you should play that after every question Tony asks him. And let's try it right now. Uh, what, was, what did they win on the radio? So what did your friend win that you may have had something to do with on this radio station? Uh, and what chunk, was your cut? A chunk of dough. A what? A chunk of money. A ch <laughs> Keep doing it. It's working. You only... <laughs> You can only call it a chunk if you're guilty. Did you or anyone involved in this do any time for that? Do any time for that? No, yeah. no, oh, no, 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 no. You just got fired. This is the first time I've said it publicly. Well, we love you for that, Wayne. So right, you, audience? Still living so on wait, wait. Free. So you admit, you admit to the fraud of that contest, and what was your cut? Yeah, good question. What was the percent? Free weed, still getting it. Whoa, weed. still getting it. Wow. That's the scene where the lawyers are walking into the... You know. Have you, when you were in court for any of the past things you ever did, did they ever like, like collect a bunch of information about you called building a character of like maybe past things you've done bad, like, like you know, broadcast live on the internet and stuff like that? <laughs> Not yet. No. Well, you no. Got, you're, you're awesome, Wayne. Wayne, we, you we look got... like a living police sketch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is that? Where, is that Joel Bird coming out? Wow. Finally! We have waited all night! I'm glad I was the butt of him bring it coming back. You got Your it. head hair and your facial hair look like you're an actor in a scene in a movie where later on you're not going to have any of that. Yeah, you're just going to take your mask off. It all off looks at some fake. Point. Yeah. It looks good, but fake. And he has a hoodie on. You know what I mean? Right. Does anyone ever tell you? Right. All right. All right, there he goes, Wayne Roberts, everybody. He's on Twitter. Wayne Roberts, 811. What do you guys think? Bucket one more time, huh? One, one more? more time. Ah, Kenny Loggins over here. Jesus. All right, here we go. Put your hands together for Tierney Michonne. Doing that thing you do, breaking my heart in two. Okay, so I'm from Minnesota and I'm going back on Friday. And I was bragging about that at my job. And this guy's like, oh, wow, uh, I really like the Packers. And I was like, okay. 
I went and pegged you for a sports guy. He said, oh yeah, how would you peg me? And I couldn't resist. And I said, soft and slow to start. So I, uh, I've never actually, I've never actually, uh, I never actually pegged a guy. I've never been asked. Um, I would consider it, but I'm afraid that I would lose interest after the pegging because I've done some butt stuff. Not a lot, not a lot, but enough to know that it's, you know, when it's, cu- when it's going in, I know the faces and the sounds that I make and it's sort of like, ah, ah, no, 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 too big, too big, too big, too big. So I just... Wait, wait, what are you doing? That, <laughs> Keep going. You, we're going to let you finish, We're Tierney. just getting to the butt stuff and you yeah. give it a kiss. Let her finish. Fuck Red Man. Yeah. Go ahead, finish the joke. Oh, I mean, that's like, it, I'm just afraid that if I saw that face, if I saw somebody make that face, I'd never be able to get near any part of any, we would just be friends. There, there you go, Tierney Michonne. Oh, perfect. Jeremiah, Feminist Stacy. All that butt stuff, you're coming off like a real Maria Bam turd up here. Oh, <laughs> oh. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> you were on the show last week, correct? Uh, not last week, but the week A couple before. weeks ago. And we found out you were crazy as fuck, didn't oh we? My God. Right? Oh. You, you can admit that? You, like, own that, right? That's part of your... I mean, I, um, there is only... There was only a, a short period of time where I tried to suppress my personality to be to be popular, but um, that's it great. Work. Yeah, your segues are work. very very interesting. It shines your insanity, your oh. deep rooted craziness. Why are you I going back to Minnesota? Oh, because um, <laughs> it's just a vacation. My my best friend who lives in New York is turning thirty, and so I'm surprising her. My dad by going to Minnesota. <laughs> Surprise! I'm in Minnesota now. She Happy New York beep, birthday. Beep, beep, beep. You're going to New York? We were neighbors growing up, so she's going home to visit her family, oh. and then I'm going to show up. We, we have this whole thing planned. She she's like, what the there, fuck are you and doing I'm gonna, like, here? I'm going to be hiding in her bedroom, she's and like then I'm going to come out Closing her blinds. Like, ah! You're going to do a goat impression. Any, <laughs> any I'll do butt stuff is what we want. And butt stuff. So you were no, Monique butt stuff. is not into butt stuff. Monique is like... Oh, it's a black girl. <laughs> no, she's not. She's German. Monique. Ooh, right. Monique the German? Monique the German. Wow. Germans do not like butt stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Plus is not they like it coming out, not going statement. in. I think that's a blanket statement, and, and a lot of people like butt stuff. You would be so surprised. I mean, no, I don't think any of us would be surprised. <laughs> I'll go ahead and speak for all of us. We yeah. all like a little butt stuff. Right? A, a little bit? Germans. I didn't no. know this because I, I've been in such long-term relationships with people who weren't into butt stuff, and now that I'm single... And I'm having casual sex with people that I barely know, and all of a sudden there will be like a whoop, and I'm like, ah. Eric, Eric, you like butt Wait, stuff? Man. Eric, you like butt stuff? You said you like butt stuff? No, just a, to just the a little thing? You like a finger? <laughs> to I don't, the knuckle. I, I've never. Why do you think God I've made the prostate? He goes really right good. into the knuckle on his penis. <laughs> Let me break this nonsensory up really that's not need, the show. I actually need some advice. How, how does one go about, because it's always been, me like they they do it to me a pinky yeah a pinky okay. of course you don't go with the thumb it's not s- <laughs> you, you use you, you use lube ask, oh you have a whole like, do notebook I have to ask on butt permission shit. before i do it because they never do they don't but you don't, don't just they, fucking do not you don't just go to the butt stuff that has to be like a, what kind one of one guy what? grab my ankles lifts me up and starts licking my butthole and i'm like no wait wait that's the part that you had a problem with <laughs> are you so he lifted you up by your ankles, and you were fine with that. You were like, okay, and then the butt stuff, and you were like, okay, this has got to stop. We got. Are you a bad wiper? Am I a what? Bad wiper? Oh, no. no. Oh. No. The guy, that, the guy that lifted you up by the ankles and uh-huh. ate your ass, was it the last comedian that was on, Wayne Roberts? Because we saw him eat shit on stage tonight. Oh, oh Tony, you and your elaborate setups. So, wow. How did you, so the guy grabs you by your ankles. Yeah. He just starts eating your ass. And what do you literally say? You're upside down. I mean, 
I'm I'm into everything that happens with that guy. He's a CrossFit instructor. Really? Yeah. I thought he was Shook Knight. What yeah. was what was the thing? <laughs> Sounds like he's more of a cross shit instructor. Yeah. <laughs> he's just you know what I like about him? He's very He's very open to exploring and he's so Oh, really? He likes to go spelunking in your anus? <laughs> you know, spelunking is one of my favorite words. <laughs> oh my god. So this guy he knows you're a little. Oh yeah. So that's why he does he now. Does he ever take you out on a real date, or is it just like 3 a.m. He comes over with some like tools and shit. And no, actually, like... we um. So we we tried dating initially, and then he ghosted me, and then I sent him a picture of a Ouija board four days later, and he's like, "What?" And I said, "I'm just trying to contact a ghost here." Wow. And then he's and then like, he came okay, over and licked your butt. So he just told. That he wasn't ready for a relationship and I clearly wasn't either and I'm absolutely not and uh, so we just decided that since the sex was good maybe we should just stick to that and he's very busy I'm very busy so we make we have scheduled booty calls and they're usually earlier in the morning so they're like 8 30 early awful. morning so booty calls the so worst. Has to work wow with a shitty mouth <laughs> okay the morning I always <laughs> myself right before we it's do a anything. literal booty call what do you clean yourself <laughs> it's a eat my booty call <laughs> on fire tonight wow. it took two hours but now we're here I like it. what did you do start doing shots of testosterone back there julia yeah <laughs> yeah wow <laughs> i'm transitioning tony <laughs> back to, you're transitioning into being a man <laughs> yes <laughs> oh you're getting funnier every minute that the show goes by oh stop it Stop back. it! The Oz are yeah, back. the fucking the oozers over here. So you, have some, so you have a morning booty call with your ex CrossFit instructor that lifts you up and does freaky shit with you. What so the that? phone rings at eight thirty. Like, what do yeah. you do? Oh, no, we schedule it like days. In the oh, it's in your Google Calendar. Your alarm goes I don't do off. Calendars. I just have my calendars in my mind. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Do you like Ouija it? Like. Do you want to eat my hole? That is like yeah. Let me. Uh, do you have a Ouija yes. board? No, no, I haven't had a. Uh, I haven't had a Ouija board. You got the picture up. School. You got the picture up the internet. On the on the online, yeah. Yeah. So. I thought it was clever. It's one of the most clever things I've ever done. I was really proud of it. Well, you got him back. And it I got worked. Him back. It worked. Yeah. It's like and he crazy. got you back. It's. Oh, and he's back. <laughs> Just when you thought I'm the sorry. tides had turned. She's back. She's back. <laughs> so you're just going to visit Minneapolis or Minnesota? Minnesota, not Minneapolis, not nearly that cool. It's a place right. called Detroit Lakes. Um, small town, small town. Um, small and my, town, my small littlest breath. brother, who's going to study to be an engineer. That town's so small you can't turn around that. without licking a booty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised you're not from the Twin Shitties. It's a Minnesota joke, you assholes. Yeah, come on, assholes. You twin assholes. Yeah. Don't, don't twin pity him. Come on. <laughs> What's their main agriculture? Corn holes. So you're just going back to visit? Yeah, it's just a brief visit. I usually only go back once a year, um, and I'm glad that this will be a, a second time this year. I'm, I love Minnesota, but you it's go... not a viable option for an artist. Yeah. You said you go back once a I year? I mean, unless I, I, I could go to Min Minneapolis, but I feel like I, I'm just not ready to give up this pipe dream yet. Did I ask you what you do for a living here? Oh, yeah, I, um, I'm a server. I'm the typical, the prototypical waitress, uh, waitress actress. Oh, what, where are you a server at? Well, there's this new place called Mixed Company on Sunset. Uh, it's um, like a little coffee shop, and then it transitions. Into an escort service? <laughs> You know what? It kind of feels like that sometimes. I mean, we, the show has to stop. We can't. <laughs> We're getting there. We're almost that's there. It. That's the closer right there. Right? And that, in fact, What's it is. What's the cross section? Have we have to call back. Have you ever heard of um, Seeking Arrangements? Yes. Uh, what? One of my friends is doing it, and I'm wondering how legitimate it is. Because what is it? I don't. We don't. Okay, it's a it's a website where you sign up and you. It's, it's sort of like a dating profile, but you're basically saying, "I want a sugar daddy. I want to fuck you, it's and I want escorts. you to pay my rent." Yeah, mostly escorting. I think I'd feel uncomfortable. But I was just wondering if anybody knows if it's legitimate because it's I get I get propositioned by older men all the time. That's and, all it is. And oh, I, first me. you said your friend, Two. now you're saying you. 
I, I'm on there. What is it? Busted. Is it your friend? Is it for is a friend your profile? or is it for you? <laughs> is there a sugar dating website where they lift you up by the ankles and eat your ass? I get that for free. Wow. No, they're stealing your change. They're shaking your pockets out when they hold you upside down. What are you talking about? I'm not wearing pants. Yes, you are. Well, I mean, when, when I'm being lifted by the ankles. Oh. It's so called an analogy. <laughs> My dignity, they're stealing my. You didn't have any to begin with, I promise. Oh. Oh. I mean, Tierney Michon, everybody, there she goes. Tierney Michon. Still Tony, one, two hundred and something. The drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt, that's what it. Whoa, motherfucking Ghostbusters! Holy shit! Look at that drawing. Uh, oh, the show doesn't end until you finish the drawing. The Monster Energy Outbreak Tour goes absolutely everywhere. I'm taking the great feminist Stacy, Jeremiah Watkins, and the whole uh, the whole crew uh, of Jeremiah's uh, cast of people and uh, me. We're doing um, uh, we're doing theaters around the country. Nashville, Huntsville, Louisville, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Columbia, Atlanta, Charlotte, Baltimore, New York City, Boston, San Francisco, Portland, and Los Angeles. Doug Benson was here tonight. Yay! Benson! Cincinnati and Columbus this weekend. DougLovesMovies.com. Always a pleasure. Get out there, you Buckeyes, and go see the great Doug Benson. Thank Eric Griffin? What guys, you say? Um, but guys. Hey, uh, last episode of I'm Not Up Here is going to be next Sunday. Yes. And just go to my website, ericgriffin.com. I got a bunch of dates coming up. Get and, the Showtime uh, app if you don't have the yeah, channel. Just binge that shit. Binge yeah. it. Get it, watch it, review it, write a good review, leave good YouTube comments, do the whole thing. I love that show. Yeah, please do. Patty Reagan's got a new album out called Bad hey, Chat. Hey, oh, hey, stop yep. the show. Uh huh. Um, Stacy? Whoa. Will you marry me? Are you giving her a nouveau ring? No, I was going to propose to you. I'm a new age woman. How dare you embarrass me in front of everybody here? Get up off your ass. I'm talking to you in the car immediately after this. Jeremiah Watkins. Uh, J- Stacy, you're friends with Jeremiah. Does he have anything else going on? Yeah, he's got a lot going on, okay? <laughs> Anything that he, he told you to plug? Yeah, the Monster Energy Drink Tour with Tony <laughs> no, Hitchcock. What else? The, the Monster Energy Drink Tour with Tony Hitchcock. Okay. <laughs> Come see Stan on the spot every second Tuesday of the month and reach out to him on social media. After my stand, I swear to God, I'm going to talk to the car. Joel Berg. Joel Jimenez is in the house. What's up, Joel Berg? Not much. I'm mostly sorry. Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's pretty much it, Chris Brian. Dylan, right, man? Live audience. Thank you, you so much. Thanks for coming out. We love you. 